Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior system administrator and cybersecurity engineer. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider su subscribing below. If you've been here before, uh, welcome back. Uh, please be sure to check out my brand new Instagram at ACH underscore sysadmin. Post a lot of pictures of my lab and projects that I'm working on over there. Uh, today we're gonna talk about patching. Uh, patching is very important in today's ever-changing threat landscape. Uh, however, for a small business admin, the budget may not be there to implement a robust uh, patching program. So what are some options to deal with this or to tackle this problem? Um, something to keep in mind with this article and my associated video, uh, these reflect my own personal opinions after over 15 years in the industry. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any of the companies that I speak about in this video. I have merely been an administrator to a couple of them and have researched the rest. Making the determination if any of these solutions are a fit for your environment is solely up to you. Let's take a look at option one. This is what I call legacy solutions, uh, allowing your hosts to self-update. This is not a good practice in today's vast threat landscape. Uh, there are numerous vulnerabilities that come out daily, and not just for operating systems like Windows, Mac, or Linux, uh, but any of the third-party applications that run on them. So think Adobe, uh, Chrome, Firefox, I mean, pretty much anything that's a third-party application that runs on these operating systems. Uh, operating this way gives you, as the administrator, no visibility into what patches a system may have or may be missing. Uh, additionally, uh, users, even myself, uh, will put off rebooting to apply an update for as long as possible. Like, like I said, I'm even guilty of it myself because who likes to reboot when you have 50 Chrome tabs open? Um, allowing systems to self-update, you have no control over uh, when the system reboots to effectively get the applied patch. Uh, it could be days, it could be weeks, or in some cases I've even seen months uh, before a system is rebooted. Uh, while this option does not cost anything, I don't view it as an option for any business, big or small. It leaves your systems highly vulnerable. Another legacy approach is Windows Server Update Services, or WSUS. Um, WSUS uh, is... It used to be the go-to for many businesses, and you're likely to still find the solution in production today. Uh, this, too, is what I would consider a legacy approach. Uh, given the proliferation of users that work remotely, a cloud-based solution is definitely your best option. Uh, WSS is an on-prem service that, in most cases, will require your users to be connected to the corporate network, either directly or via VPN. Uh, you are prone to have remote users who hardly connect to your corporate network um, and therefore will be dis delayed in receiving any of the approved patches. WSUS may be a good option if you're a Windows uh, administrator that has a fleet of desktops and servers that don't go anywhere. Um, the upside to WSUS is that it's built in as a service to Windows Server, so there is no cost associated directly with the product. Uh, this is a subtly better option than allowing your host to self-update. Uh, Windows Server Update Services is also limited to Microsoft products natively. Uh, some other standalone tools, PDQ Inventory uh, and Deploy, Batch Patch, um, those are just a couple that come to mind. Um, and they're both fantastic tools that are cost-effective, coming in at a base price of around $500 to $1,000, uh, depending on which application you're looking at. Uh, both are still what I would consider to be a legacy approach. They still require the system to be connected to the corporate network. And while you can automate them to some extent, you cannot get the real-time response like you would with a product uh, like Automox or Manage Engine's Patch Manager uh, Plus. Uh, these options do provide you with the ability to patch a third-party application and Batch Patch and PDQ, uh, like I said, these are two that just come to mind. They're valid solutions if you're working in a location without a budget uh, for a cloud-based tool. Um, in my opinion, they still leave some room for security holes. Now we come to option two, which is cloud-based patching solutions. Cloud-based patching solutions are and should be the go-to today. Uh, they are reliable, they're fast, and they give you the most up-to-date reporting and metrics on your fleet. Uh, leveraging a cloud solution will allow you to patch a vulnerable system in minutes, regardless if the system is connected to your corporate network or not. Um, looking at uh, the first solution, and I've used this in several locations, is Automox. Um, Automox is what I would call a premium product. It comes with a 
cost or an MSR RP cost of roughly three to five dollars per endpoint per month. Uh, so if you have a large fleet, this could get expensive. Uh, Automox allows the admin to set up and configure various groups and patching schedules across all three major platforms, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Leveraging Automox, administrators are also able to patch and deploy third-party applications. Uh, I've had the pleasure of administrating Automox for a few different employers over the last several years, and it is absolutely a solid product. It's my go-to recommendation for patch management. Manage Engine has another product, Patch Manager Plus, which I've also administered over the years. Um, it's a good solution for a small business who is looking to implement a patching solution. Uh, they even have a free offering for 20 computers and 5 servers. So that's a pretty good deal right there if you have a small fleet. Uh, expanding on that, if you need a plan with more clients, their price comes in uh, at $245 a year for 50 computers, which is still pretty cheap for patching, and it's cloud-based, and it gets you something to get started with. Um, they do offer both an on-prem and cloud solution. Again, I would highly encourage you to go to a cloud solution in today's uh, day and age. Uh, Patch Manager does come with a little bit of a learning challenge. Uh, as someone who has administered the, this platform, I didn't find it quite as easy to get the hang of it as, as a product like Automox. Uh, all in all, it's a great solution if you have a small if you're a small business admin and you're on a tight budget. Um, Patch Manager supports all three major operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, along with third-party patching. Coming to option three, this is my last option, um, and these are some options that I researched, are RMM tools, uh, which is uh, remote management and monitoring tools. Uh, these tools are geared more towards a managed service provider, an MSP. Uh, they do more than just patch management, uh, but I'm only looking at them from a patch management standpoint for the purpose of this video and article. Uh, while they are geared toward an MSP, they may be options for a small business uh, given their free or inexpensive offerings. Uh, they do come with their limitations. I haven't worked with either product extensively, uh, although I have tested them a little bit in the lab for short periods of time. Uh, Iterian is the first tool um, that I looked at. Uh, it's an RMM tool. It's got a pretty decent offering. You get 50 endpoints free of charge, uh, and all you have to do is sign up. Uh, they have agents that support all three major operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Uh, while they have agents for these systems, uh, from what I could see, they only support patching for Windows-based operating systems. I did spend some time looking through their documentation and could find no real reference on how to patch Mac OS or Linux-based systems. Uh, given that they have agents that run on both of those, I would say it's likely to see uh, you'd like, you're likely to see that Itarian supports patching them at some point down the road. Um, this is a decent option if you have a small Windows fleet that you want some visibility into. And the last one that comes to for this article is Action One. It's another RMM tool, like I said, uh, and it will handle patch management for up to 100 endpoints for free. Uh, however, the caveat to this is they do not support Mac or Linux OSs. No agent, no client, um, no reference to it from what I could see in the documentation. Um, they, they, don't have, uh, they don't have an agent available. Um, so it may be a good solution if you are a slightly bigger Windows system administrator and you want some patching for your fleet. Um, all in all, uh, above are some solutions for patch management for small business admins that maybe don't have a huge budget to implement a robust program. Um, one can surmise through reading through this article or watching my video, uh, legacy-based options, on-prem options, they're not really the best play here. Um, you really need a cloud solution to keep your systems up to date with minimal hassle. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up below. Consider subscribing. Um, you can follow along at ACH underscore admin, uh, sysadmin on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video.